and that's where my signing stops unfortunately. I've only worked with people with hearing issues for a couple of months so that's about the tip of the iceberg and the rest of the iceberg is underwater. New to the 2018 film directed by Duncan Jones and I don't know about you but I like Duncan Jones. Moon's pretty fucking terrific and okay it's got Kevin Spacey attached and he's an absolute disgusting creepazoid but you know what disregarding that uh, source code I there's a lot of people that don't like source code and probably for good reason but I do World of Warcraft was probably its biggest miss but even that I know some staunch defenders of it and that brings us to mute and mute uh, what do I what can I say about mute it's a 2018 film directed by Duncan Jones. Mute is a very basic, paint-by-numbers, cliched, standard thriller about taking revenge because your loved one's gone missing. The only thing that makes it stand out is that Bill Skarsgård, who plays Leo, the titular mute of the film, the person who is mute, and he can't speak. That's the thing. In a quasi Blade Runner kind of Berlin, which has been heavily Americanized and with a lot of Asian influences as well, the fact that the main character can't speak is its driving factor, apparently. And stop me if you've heard this one before, but your main character deviates from the norm, but he's a really sweetheart on the inside and he's, bless him, he's a perfect human being except he doesn't, you know, match our criteria, what we perceive as normal. And his girlfriend or his fiance, take your pick, is a former prostitute or a girl with a bad history. And that's this. What makes it slightly different from all those typical stories is that about half the screen time here is dedicated to Paul Rudd and Justin Theroux as these back alley doctors that do a lot of skeezy business practices, you know, what the law is not supposed to find out, helping mobsters out, the Russian mafiosos involved, but none of that is like a driving part of the plot. All this film is really is Leo played by Bill Skarsgård going past address to address and every address he goes to gives him a lead for a next one until he eventually finds his girlfriend. Un unfortunately, you know how these things end. They, they never have happy endings. So that just leaves us with a very bare bones plot. That just leaves us with the strength of the characters and the cinematography. And I'm a sucker for a good camera shot because I've discovered of myself that I've got a huge affinity for visual storytelling but it's pretty and it's gorgeous to look at but none of the characters made me engrossed in them none of them really made me connect to them what do we know of leo aside from the fact that he's mute and he lost nadira what is his interest what is his drive he doesn't have any i hesitate to call this film bad because nothing about it screams bad or poorly made or poorly developed or poorly conceived or poorly written or poorly acted it's just nothing of it nothing clicked nothing worked for me aside from the fact it's got a lot of neon lights i like neon lights it's my new aesthetic i wish i could decorate my living room with neon lights but that's not good enough it doesn't work I don't recommend this, especially seeing as the film is over two hours long and by the time you think you've reached the end, there's still another good half hour left inside the film where it slogs through its final ending. I'm quite disappointed. I was looking forward to this film and I was hoping it would be a lot more adventurous than it actually turned out to be. <sighs> One thing I am curious about is what will Netflix start recommending to me because I watched this film. You like Mute, so here's Paul Rudd in Ant-Man! <laughs> oh, those are two very different things. So please let me know what you think of this film, because I haven't been very scathing about it, a bit, bit, you know, holding back, but I really don't think it's the worst thing in existence. It's just, I, it's like a five or a four. Like, you can watch it, but don't. You have better things to do. It's not even a so bad, it's good film. Uh, there's social media things. I do a lot of those, apparently. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, except when it's opposite day, in which case, don't like, don't comment, and don't subscribe, and don't smash that bell! I 
hate that pill. Oh right, the end screen.